And welcome back to Square Off. Back in March, Governor Doug Ducey delayed the enforcement of eviction orders. It covers renters who can show they've been harmed by COVID-19, an illness or a job loss, or perhaps caring for a child who couldn't be in school. Now that delay ends on July 22nd. Courts are getting ready right now for a surge in eviction cases, but there is help available for renters. Patricia Garcia Duarte is president and CEO of Trellis. It's a neighborhood housing nonprofit that helps put people in homes. Patricia, good to see you again. Hello, how are you? Good, good. We were talking about uh, how we met during another crisis, the housing bust in 0608, when you were saving people's homes and now you're trying to save renters. Right, actually both renters and homeowners. So let's talk about what's happening. Uh, the governor could take action to extend the moratorium. It's unclear whether he'll do that. Give us the big picture. Do you have any ideas how many renters uh, or homeowners might be facing eviction when the moratorium ends? Well, interesting, uh, the industry is saying that their delinquencies are not extremely high, uh, but there's factors that contribute to that, right? Some people have been receiving some assistance um, or maybe people had savings and they're keeping up. But, but the truth of the matter is that many are struggling and are not keeping up with their rent and their mortgage. The, the nice thing about this is that there's assistance through the federal government, the state of Arizona received funding to help renters. And then most recently, the city of Phoenix contracted Wildfire uh, AZ they're a great organization that covers the state and they've contracted about nine different organizations. One of them is Trellis to help renters and homeowners um, pay some of their bills. Let's go back to what you said about the number of delinquencies, uh, maybe being depressed. Is that because of the, the higher uh, unemployment benefit, the, the checks people got, the relief checks people got early on? Are they able to get by, get through this? That's a possibility. Um, you know, we have been uh, advising people that if they can make their payments to make sure that they do, because those payments, quite frankly, are due to the landlord or the mortgage company. The moratoriums have given us time to make sure that people are not foreclosed on or evicted on, because, you know, that really contributes to a health hazard if people are... Um, being forced to move while we know staying home is safer. And this idea that we know that the checks are gone, these relief checks will be spent, the jobless benefits is gonna shrink dramatically in just a few weeks. Could there be a new wave of evictions after that? That is definitely the fear. Um, I think the governor said yesterday that there was 1%. Uh, I honestly believe that is a very low number of delinquencies, but if we were to say that there's 800,000 uh, renters in, in the Valley, that's 8,000, but we know that number is higher. There's thousands of people in the pipeline and you have to contribute. That is not those that are at the court. It's everybody that's received the notice. Um, they're in that pipeline. And to, to be able to figure out that pipeline of who's at risk, it's very difficult to figure out. I wish there was more transparency to better understand how many people are struggling. So tell us about the aid that's available to, uh, to struggling renters. So the city of Phoenix, uh, gosh, they, they have done the right thing. They created a program called Phoenix COVID-19. Uh, they contracted Wildfire um, and Wildfire has solicited the help of nine different organizations to help deploy this money. There's utility assistance. Um, they can be renters or homeowners, and we can help with electric or gas. There's $600 for that if they qualify. They have to be residents of the city of Phoenix. It's only for Phoenix residents. That's $300 for water. And for rent or mortgage, we can help uh, with $3,300. And is there a website or place where people can go or call to get some more information on this? So, because Trellis is one of those organizations that is going to help um, deploy this money, we set up um, a link on our website. People can visit uh, www.trellisaz.org and select the Get Started button and select the uh, uh, 
uh, City of Phoenix CARES program. And then there's an online application that they need to fill out. All right. Uh, Patricia uh, Duarte, thank you so much for joining us. We'll also have more information on our website on the state housing program, state housing and renting assistance program that's available to people all over Arizona. Thanks so much, and especially for the work you do. Take care. Take care. Thank you.